Hi, and welcome to the WaveMaker Novel Writing App demo video. This is a very simple and quick demonstration of it so that you can see what sort of features are in there before you install it. Uh, we have a couple of templates pre-built into the system. Um, we can build more if we have some suggestions about how to do it. I've been looking out for other ones that have enough detail, but there's not that many. I'll just pull open the Better Novel Project template as a starting point for you. So first off, you'll see we have a lot of chapters <laughs> listed here. This is based on how it's broken down on their website. If you click on one of those, you have a series of note cards. These are themes, characters, symbols, uh, probably um, uh, sort of, I think there's a few other things, a few note cards in there that explain part of the, their process. Worth reading their website before you do it, but definitely worth having a look at. We also have our cards organizer, which is a bit like if anyone's used Trello, it's a breakdown note by note. Now I could decide I want to introduce my character in chapter two and just move the card over there. The card will then appear in that listing, which makes uh, it easy for you to work through your novel. So you can actually start in this bit and build your novel up by writing little cards that will remind you of scenes that you need to do in each chapter or in each section of your novel. We also have the timeline tool, which is a fairly straightforward tool used to help you organize the events in your novel. Adding a new card is easy. You can either click the big add new card button, which is fairly obvious, or you can, if you want to insert a card before a previous card, just do that on the symbol on the logo. If you click on the logo, it creates a new card above the card it was attached to. Now, it's, if it's in the wrong place, that's no big deal. You can drag and drop and repo reposition them. This will give you a nice timeline of your novel, especially once you've added quite a few extra cards to it all the way down working through maybe scene ideas or events that have to happen that maybe happen off camera, if you like. So that's another useful tool. I've skipped over the Snowflake tool because I'm going to come back to that in a second. Uh, we have a basic settings option, which gives you a light theme and a dark theme. Uh, ideas for those are welcome. Obviously, adding fonts will be a new feature I'd want to add as well. If you want to disable some of the extra windows so that you can actually have a much neater right view just use these little arrow keys at the top of the screen and you can bring them back like so they are also draggable so you can resize them to be however you like so if you're writing and you want your cards to be a bit more visible you can do that cards can be tagged as done and you can toggle them away if you need to now i'm going to jump back out again and i'm going to open a project file as you can see, I am using Windows, uh, so I'll just choose one of the ones I've created there. And this one's called Captain Stupendous. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight to the Snowflake section. Now, this is one of my favorite ways of beginning to break a novel, novel idea down. Uh, you start with a very simple summary. A down look, down is like superhero, finds that getting minions to help him out means he needs to turn to crime to make ends meet. Once you've written a small summary of your novel, you can then click on the snowflake button and it provides you with three more cards. Now this will create three more sections in the editor when you've completed it. So you can break it down into uh, saving the day again. Cap is Okay. Papyrus. Oh, sorry, I hit the cat clock key. To help him. And the third one is villain captain so to crime to fund minions. There's a very basic rundown of the novel. Click that button. It'll ask me if I want to replace the card. I click replace it and it does that. I can then break the cards down further if I so wish, adding more and more detail to a specific card till it's done. Now this is a great little tool and it is a great way to start for me. I'm because when you jump back to the editing, when you actually start writing, you'll notice that your cards, actually I didn't give these titles, um, middle, 
and let's call this one end just for now. Okay, when I jump back to the editor, you'll notice I have three sections here, all of which have a bit the text from the card in. So you can build your novel up that way quite nicely and rearrange. And if you go back to Snowflake, they rearrange here. So it all ties together quite nicely as a simple little tool that will just give you a great start. Personally, I would recommend using the Snowflake. Sorry about the dog. He doesn't like me recording. He's been barking inside all the way through this. It's taken seven goes. So this should give you a good rundown of just the basics of it. I will try and get a much more detailed video up in the future. So I hope you enjoy it.